Hi everybody and welcome to Freedom to Paint with me, Ronnie Falco. Um, this is episode two. I'm going to show you how to do make a paint, make a watercolor painting of death playing cards in a casino, and um, then I'm going to also show you how to outline your watercolor drawing with a Pentel pocket brush to get more detail. All right, let's get started. I have my um, paint tray cozy here. I have a couple things. I have acrylic markers, watercolor. One set from Germany, one set from the USA. Sea sponge, you always want to have a sea sponge before you start painting. Pentel pocket brush. I also have a tube of opaque white um, gouache because watercolors are transparent. So you need some sort of opaque paint to create highlights. I have more acrylic poster markers in case I need them for touch-ups. And I also have pink soap for washing my brushes out when I'm done and I have a carrying case. Okay, you always want to use long brushes. Anytime you um, start painting, people will judge you by the length of your brush. So serious artists have long brushes and then weekend um, warrior painters have a shorter brush. I might use this too, but I encourage you to use a longer brush. All right, I have water. This is just plain tap water, lukewarm. You don't want to use too hot of water because it might loosen your brushes. And you want to go ahead and get your paint open and keep a, keep a neat work area, keep it tidy. And these are your palettes. This is also a palette. And then I have acid-free construction paper. You always want to use acid-free construction paper because no one's going to want to buy um, your painting if it is just covered and filled with acid and not going to last very long. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You want to pick a color. And then you just start saturating your um, watercolor wells. Okay, so I've got a purple color, violet, blue, and I can mix them all together. It's fine. And just start painting on the, the paper. So go ahead and get started and have fun with it. That's what I always do. And just get in there and start mixing colors. Okay, so... What I'm doing is just creating the background for my painting. The watercolor is expressive, it's kind of hard to control, kind of like life, you don't know, you don't know what life is going to bring you from day to day, it's the same, same thing with watercolor. Uh, this isn't working too well, it's, it's not really taking to the paper, so I'm going to um, get a deeper saturation of color here and start kind of creating some outlines of the shapes that I want to see. I might even start using some black that's diluted to create some outline shapes. And again, with the watercolor, um, the colors will kind of bleed into each other. So you just want to see what kind of happy accident you're going to get while I'm doing this. So I'm using a lot of different colors here. And they're kind of um, intermingling and interplaying with each other, which will look cool in the end. Maybe some blues. Some highlights here, shadow areas, creating the, um, the basic shape. Okay, and at this point I'm going to let the um, underpainting dry a little bit. So kind of wind it down with the background colors and then let it dry and then I'll go over it with the Pentel pocket brush and start making um, some more detailed mark making lines. Actually, this is a pretty good start. I'm actually pretty happy with this. I might add one, one or two more colors and then let it dry. These are the playing cards, so I want to have some black cards, some red cards. And I'm going to do that. And maybe just a little bit more contrast. 
in here. I'm actually really happy with this. It's actually coming together quite nicely. Okay, I'm gonna grab one more brush and then I'll get going with the pencil pocket brush. All right, we let this dry for a little bit and now we're ready to start in with a Pentel pocket brush. It's a brush with a refillable cartridge. Your moms might use this for scrapbookings. You might already be familiar with this. And basically what I do is I just come in with all my detailed lines. Super cool. And with the watercolor, what it gave me was a really atmospheric um, texture in the background. The Pentel pocket brush makes everything a lot more clear. It's really good for the uh, skull to do uh, the sinewy lines of the uh, bone and the teeth. And I'm really trying to I'm trying to work fast here. I took a lot of time with the. Uh, the watercolor on the background. But now I want to work fast and I want to work really briskly. It's really good to keep your arm up and kind of get some motion, contour lines, and keep it keep it moving fast. All right, I have the playing cards. I always forget, I made a little cheat sheet over here. I want to have the cloves and the hearts. I'm gonna do red, spade, upside down, spade, or I, I did the wrong side, or wrong side up, oh well. I don't, I don't play cards, actually, I just, um, I had a family member that died in a casino. Um, they ran out of oxygen in the tank, and, well, sorry, I got a little emotional. Uh, while playing the one-armed bandits, slot machines, so this death is like actually meaningful to me because of that experience. So death playing cards. We never know what our last card, where we're going to play our last card, I guess is what I'm saying. All right, I'm working on the phalanges, otherwise known as fingers. So the death's phalanges. And keep it really expressive. Keep it moving. Keep it angular and pointy. Play around with the shading. Okay, so I got the phalanges done. Now I got one more treat. Got a little treat for you here. This is a acrylic poster marker. It's actually a really large poster marker. So I can move across a lot of square footage here really quickly with the poster marker. Really get some action in here. Move in with the sunglasses. And like I was telling you, I have another white one here. Really good for highlights. Move quickly. Get the highlights on the cheekbones. Get the highlights going up here, get the table shaking a little bit, get white on the teeth, yellow on the teeth, and I wanna come in with the opaque um, gouache. Gouache is opaque watercolor. Really great for the eyeball, and it covers up the watercolor, and that's it. I actually, actually I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna do an outline because Death is wearing a hoodie. You see this in poker tournaments a lot. They wear hoodies, they wear sunglasses, you don't want to show your emotions when you're playing poker. You want people to, you know, that's why they call it a poker face. All right, I'm done. This is the masterpiece here. This has been painting with Ronnie Falco, or freedom to paint with Ronnie Falco, or with me, Ronnie Falco. Thank you for tuning in.